name is Burton. First of all, I didn't start it. And second of all, they were all alive when I walked out. <laughs> we're not here for arrest, sir. With your escort. This way. Oh. How fancy. Welcome back, Vicarious viewers. My name is Vicente, and finally, I'm getting back into The Expanse. Today I'll be starting Season 5, and it has been way too long since the last time we let off. I did Season 4 pretty much the same winter that I first began my YouTube channel. I had of course already seen Seasons 1 through 3 as they were coming out on Sci-Fi before I ever had a YouTube channel. And I did plan to watch this a lot sooner, but the whole C word happened, work, family, friends, people getting sick, life happens, and there was a little period there where I wasn't posting. But uh, I have been back, I've been posting regularly again, getting back into the groove of things, and thankfully, now that I am able to react to season 5, I should be finishing it up just in time for season 6. So then I don't have to wait another year for another season. I also want to note that when I first started my channel and was reacting to Season 4, I didn't really give much thought to Patreon or know what it was all about or anything, so I didn't really think to save a lot of my full-length reactions at the time, and I thought I lost a lot of them. Um, but after doing some spring cleaning of all of my files, after I got a second hard drive to back up things, I noticed I still had a bunch of full-length reactions for The Expanse Season 4 and Witcher Season 1 in a mislabeled folder in one of my cloud backups. So I have been uploading my full-length reactions to Season 4 of The Expanse and Witcher Season 1 to my Patreon now. If you would like to see any of my full-length reactions to these or any of the other content I've been coming out with since about WandaVision, then you can jump over to my Patreon and see them there for only $5. You can also go to my page there and go to the About section and it has a full list of all of my full-length reaction content that's available. But let's go ahead and get back to The Expanse. So, season 4 was a lot of fun, but it was a different pace from a lot of the other seasons. Like, everything had been building up with the protomolecule from season 1 through season 3, and then season 4 took a different route and was more about us exploring what was beyond the rings after the gates had opened. And this involved people settling on one of these planets, and trying to navigate the harsh realities of a new barren planet, like the life forms you encounter there, and the technology that was left behind by the protomolecule. There was also a lot of expansion on what's going on on Mars and their internal like social politics, uh, with Bobby Draper being back there. And we left off with her actually being at the center of a terrorist attack that was planned by Marcos and Philip Inaros, um, who of course are the ex and son of uh, Naomi. I don't know why I spaced that. But now she has actually expressed concern and interest in tracking down her son. Uh, I guess she wants to reach out to him because she's afraid that Marcos will be leading him down the wrong path, which, as we can see, he is, because that was quite the cliffhanger at the end with um, Marcos and Philip getting the drop on Ashford, Klaus, who was tracking them down and thought that he had them, but they wound up blasting him out of an airlock instead. And they've been using all of this smuggled uh, stealth tech that we saw from Season 1 to then mask a bunch of asteroids and hurl them at Earth. And we could see their path of tossing them at Earth, and now what's going to happen with that? How much destruction is this going to cause to the planet? Will this be some massive extinction level event? What kind of chaos is this going to throw the world and the whole solar system into? I can't wait to find out. What else was happening? Oh yeah, they did find that crazy little black hole thing in 
underneath the surface of uh, the planet that they were on and that somehow had the power to destroy the proto molecule systems they were able to like pull a piece of it into it and it shut down the entire planet when it was all revving up which also incidentally means the end of miller because he was only still alive in some form i wouldn't say spiritually but like mentally he was his mind was kind of absorbed and still part of the hive of the proto molecule um but of course in destroying the pro what was left of the proto molecule and making all of it inert they essentially wiped out him as well so that said i really liked miller thomas jane is always awesome what else was going on oh there was still a lot of politics on earth christian lost her election um but it looks like her successor is definitely going to have a full plate with all this other chaos that I assume is about to happen. And will she reach out to Christian being like, I can't take all of this, please, I need advice, I still need you to be a part of this government? Or is she going to hook up with Bobby? Is she going to tell Bobby, come here to Earth? Or is she going to go out and meet Bobby? What's going to happen with that? What the hell ever happened to that one... Uh, missionary scientist lady the one that was like so eager to like go through the gates but she had like her partner and kids at home like we never saw her last season at all and so i was wondering what happened to her is she going to come back into the picture at all or not oh and last but not least what is going to happen to the ever remarkably handsome amos i love him so much he had that rugged beard going last season which was very nice last season he did get his fingers shot off in the uh not the season finale. Well, was it the season finale or the episode just before that? But anyway, he got to regrow them with their uh, wonderful regenerative jelly or whatever. But last we saw of him, it looks like he may have gotten the green light to beat uh, that one asshole to death. The one that was causing all of that trouble on the planet that they were on. I forgot the name of the character. Great actor, though. I loved him in Torchwood and Pacific Rim, and he's been in a bunch of other things. But Amos really seemed in his element on that planet. He was, like, focused and trying to keep track of all the troublemakers and always ready for a fight and had some great one-liners throughout the entire season, as usual. So I'll be really excited to see where he goes forward as well. All right. I think that's all the things that come off. Oh, and after Ashford's death, what is Drummer going to do? She was kind of saying that she was going to step back. She's out at the moment. She wasn't going to go on the mission. But I think she's going to be on the warpath for revenge after that. And she's going to be gunning for Marcos. But anyway, that's all I can think of right now. Let's go ahead and jump into this season. I'll also be drinking a Pegu Club, one of my this favorite new cocktails. So now we're using their ring gates. I want to understand the war between those two ancient species. Oh yeah, that one scientist lady. I wonder what she saw when she went through that black hole thing. Is that going to change her at all? Did it give her any kind of visions or knowledge? Your intake paper said Baltimore. I spent some time there. Some locals told me about a guy Ooh. who was also named Amos Burton, who was some sort of... Are we going to get some backstory on Amos, finally? Mark Wainaris is looking to make a name for himself. All these new systems, they belong to who can take Okay, are we going to get the asteroids dropping right off the bat, or do we have to wait for that? That'd be quite a bang if, like, the asteroids started dropping right away. Rock number nine. Iron nickel core. Target impact, 21 megatons. Jesus. 173 days. Okay, so these are going to take some time to get to their destination. Oh, shit. It's burning off the... Uh... Oh, gone. Okay, so maybe not all of them are going to get there. Or... It looks like smaller fragments. If it's still on the same course, they might get like like shotgun in a barrel type of action. Shotgun in a barrel? <laughs> like shooting fish in a barrel? Like, I don't know. Yeah, rogue asteroids around Venus. We got ourselves a bona fide space oddity. Oh, What's shit. The, the readings are all over the place. 
I think we're gonna have to recalibrate the sense because there's still a lot of ready. chunks of the stealth right, well, tech in it. Do it, but step lively. We're unarmed. This is a scientific ship on a research mission. We do not do know, but do rock. What do you rock? What do you know? Nothing. Nothing. So is her son gone full terrorist? I mean, he did set off that bomb on Mars, and it will be kind of redeemable if they just kill all these people. Good to go. No. Just the ship. Damn it, boy. She may be looking for her son, but he's not her little boy anymore. Tell my father what you did. He Damn. Will be proud of you. Give him one to let your own die. That's cold. Damn. That's the opening? Shit. You're trying to piss me off. I don't care if I do. See, Fred's got a soft spot for you and your crew, and you're taking advantage of it. I call that stealing. That was smooth. Their movements with, uh, like, the movement of the pod and everything. Later. Nice. I have something for you. <laughs> Piss off. The Belter skiff was put into repairs at Palace Station two days ago. This is your son. And wait till you hear what he's been doing. The lazy songbird. Oh, hey, Amos. What's up, handsome? Think you're in the wrong place, Copain. Late and Jenny for changing bags. You snore. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> <laughs> she snores. <laughs> Uh, he may be a total psychopath sometimes, but he still has a heart of gold. He flat insurance for protect yourself and wants you uh, love. Oh, great. Present again. You never know what could happen. Amos? What does Amos have to say about this? How much damage do you think I can do to you in two minutes before the knockout gas gets to me? We don't need protection. We got protection enough. Oh, yeah. No, no problem. I was just letting your associate know that nobody in this cabin pays for any of your insurance or anything else from now on. They come out at us now. Huh, <laughs> Mercury. I'm gonna go take a shower. You crazy, kid. You know what they're gonna do in there. Yep. Taking a shower. Can we come? I hate waiting. <laughs> Here we go. Fight for business. You must be stupid. <laughs> oh, we don't get to see the beat down. What kind of shower is that? Well, I don't think they're going to be asking for anyone's payment anymore. <laughs> I'll take another. Make that two. This oh bitch. Holden, you look, uh... Well rested. Trust me. Inside, I'm a mess. <laughs> she knows. Relax. We're not on the record. Liar. All the proto molecule in the solar system was destroyed. Earth, Mars, and the OPA all confirmed it publicly. They're lying. Why else would someone be doing proto molecule research at a secret facility in the belt? Says who? My sources. That sounds like a rumor. But you Fuck. clearly don't think it's impossible. Fred Johnson. Fred Johnson has some. What the fuck is he doing with it? Everyone who's had the proto molecule in their hands thought they knew what it was, and every one of them was wrong, catastrophically wrong. If there's any more exactly. Than, who knows what it'll do next? To be fair, I do think that maybe she didn't know what her cameraman was doing with uh, taking the footage and sending it off to um, Mao, Julie Mao's sister. Her name is escaping me at the moment. The Razorback? Who has the Razorback? Okay, oh okay, shit! Sorry, sorry, I'm not trying okay, to show that off. makes sense. <laughs> showing you how it's done. Call Bobby Draper. Bobby! Hey, message. See you there, partner. That's cool. But wait, wasn't she meeting up with uh, Christian? I have a buyer who's in the market for Mark 23 Gladius torpedoes. Is she selling them to... Alex? Like I said, 
We're done. Don't contact me again. Hmm. Is it for Alex, or is she running jobs on the side still? I guess she's embraced the uh, criminal underworld after being so disappointed with it in the first place. She's like, oh, yeah. oh well, this is Mars's reality now. What we do for a buck. Join my Patreon. <laughs> I truly appreciate your faith in me, ma'am, and I do not intend to let you down. Oh, okay. So now they're trying to weed them out. Sorry, you say no disturb. Boss man. Get out. And close the door behind you. <laughs> well, no one stops me. I'm James fucking Holden. Something on your mind? Are you and Dawes doing protomolecule research? How many people has this artifact killed? None so far. And nothing else like it has been found on any of the other colonies. Not yet. So in other words, what you're worried about is pure speculation. But it could mean everything if he's right. And so far, he's been right about a whole fucking lot. So I think you need to listen. I never understood what prompted your incredible generosity in making this journey possible for us. And I don't need to know. You're a good Martian body draper. Oh, was that... What's his name's family? Jesus Please. fucking Christ. If you wanted to be your son's hero, you should have shown up three years ago. What? Get it through your head. It's over. Move on. Mommy. This was not a good day for this. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Name is Burton. First of all, I didn't start it. And second of all, they were all alive when I walked out. <laughs> we're not here for risks, sir. We're escort you. This way. Oh, how fancy. Amos and Christian. You oh look shit. Amazing. You look amazing. <laughs> what are you doing here? I thought you were like Queen of Earth. <laughs> you don't keep up on current events, do you? Sit. For a free drink? Hell yeah. Looks like the good shit too. What's this for? For teaching me how to walk in magnets. It comes in handy, <laughs> especially in this godforsaken place. You and I have very different life experiences, Chrissy. Don't call me that. I'm a member <laughs> of Parliament. Not your favorite stripper. You can be both. <laughs> On the one hand, it would be nice to have James there to back her up. On the other hand, I bet it's very hard to travel with James Holden and stay off the radar. Like, people notice him. And if he was coming their way, like... People would know. They hate us because they think we are weak. And they hurt us anyway. We make them feel ashamed. But we can teach them to fear us. To hate us. Because they believe we are weak. We have the power to be audacious. Twelve days, seven hours, thirteen minutes. And how many episodes is that gonna take? Damn it. Okay, so that was the premiere for season five. We did not get any of the asteroids falling, so no big chaos or destruction yet. But it looks like it is coming, and they are setting the stage. Amos will be on Earth. He's got to survive. I know he has to. But that'll give him front row tickets for the chaos, so that'll give us a perspective on what is happening there when shit starts to hit the fan. Uh, Christian is on the moon, so she is... As far as we know, for now, out of harm's way, but has front row tickets as well. And is just starting to get some of the pieces on what is about to happen. Can she figure it out before it starts to happen? That is the question. And <clears throat> even if she realizes what is going on, like, is there any way to stop it when they are covered in stealth technology? Like... 
If they can't see them coming, how do they stop Calamity? Holden is on his ship, but he is separated from Naomi, who is off trying to find her son. Who, honestly, I don't think that her reunion with her son is going to go as well as she hopes. I can imagine maybe he'll take pause, like this is my mother, but I don't think it'll do mu make much difference. I think he is on his path, and he is ar he already has blood on his hands. Hmm. And then Bobby and Alex are on Mars. Bobby is basically very nihilistic at this point, like nothing fucking matters, relationships don't matter, jobs don't matter, fuck it all. Um, I was wondering, I might catch an editing when I'm, like, rewatching it for the editing, but, like, was she sending money to the family of the guy that she was working with before? And is she trying to weed out the people that are selling arms? Is she trying to do some good in that aspect? Um, hopefully I catch that detail in my rewatch, um, or maybe it'll be better explained in the next episode, which I do plan on watching right after this. But then Alex, he is not really, well, he is flat out not connecting with his ex-wife. She's like, fuck off. I'm done with you. You don't get any reconciliation. I don't need to tell you shit. Uh, but it seems at least his son is still receptive to him. I mean, he's not going to tell him he loves him, but he's like, you're still my dad. I'm going to talk to you. But he's realizing what's going on on Mars, like... It, the dream is dying there. Uh, people aren't doing as well. There is unemployment on the rise. It seems like the new dream is for what's beyond the rings. There's so much possibility out there, so much work out there that people are abandoning the inner planets. But who is the person that died on Earth? I remember in a previous season he said that there was a woman that was good to him, took him in or something like that. So, is this the person that died? Like, that's the only reference I have from him of knowing anyone from Earth? Um, or is this someone entirely new? What kind of relationship was that? What kind of woman was she? So, a lot of questions to ponder. But yeah, a good start to the season. What did you guys think of this episode? What characters were you most excited to see? Were you as surprised to see the reporter chick pop up again after she wasn't in the last season at all? And what kind of role will she play going forward? Will she be nosing around some more into the Belter's business with the proto-molecule? Will that get her in trouble? Will it get her killed? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'm going to jump into the next episode right away because I can't wait. But hit like and subscribe if you enjoy reactions like these. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single one. And thanks for stopping in for this vicarious view.